Russia threatened to burn NATO military bases. Kremlin declared direct confrontation with alliance. Russia and NATO are now in direct confrontation. The Kremlin has declared on the day the US-led military alliance celebrates its 75th anniversary. As NATO leaders and diplomats gathered for a ceremony in Brussels marking 75 years of the security bloc, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters in Moscow, in fact, relations have now slipped to the level of direct confrontation. NATO was already involved in the conflict surrounding Ukraine and continues to move towards our borders and expand its military infrastructure towards our borders, he said. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said that Western countries are trying to compel all NATO member states to sign up for providing obligatory aid to Ukraine just so long as Kiev keeps up its fight against Russia. Now they want to turn voluntary military aid to Ukraine into mandatory military aid under NATO auspices. To force all NATO members to sign up for the obligatory provision of funds and weapons to the Kiev regime through heavy-handed disciplinary measures just so that it can continue to fight Russia. The top diplomat said at a meeting with foreign ambassadors on a potential settlement in Ukraine. Bases of the North Atlantic Alliance in Ukraine, if any, are ever deployed to the former Soviet Republic, will be Russia's legitimate target and will burn, Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Alexander Grushko told. These bases will burn. There once was the Yavarovsky training ground on Ukrainian soil where NATO had been training its troops. That target was absolutely legitimate, the Russian diplomat said, when asked how Russia would react were the North Atlantic Alliance to resume training troops in Ukraine or deploying repair centers there at Kiev's request. Russian President Vladimir Putin said earlier that today, the military potential and capabilities of almost all major NATO countries are being actively used against Russia. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu emphasized that Moscow was fighting not so much with the Ukrainian military as with the collective West. One person died and several people, including a child, were injured in huge fire that started in a home in East Boston on Tuesday morning. The fire that started around 5 a.m. at a home on Meridian Street near West Eagle Street spread to two other homes, according to Boston Fire Department. The fire department said six people living in the home and a firefighter were taken to the hospital. One of them had life-threatening injuries. Four other people were rescued from the building, and one firefighter suffered minor injuries battling the blaze. I want to share my deepest condolences to the family who has lost someone here this morning. It's incredibly heartbreaking to feel what the family must be feeling, and we will do whatever we can at the city level to support all those who are displaced or are going to need some time recovering in the hospital," Mayor Michelle Wu said at a presser near the scene of incident. The fire has displaced around 30 people. According to Boston Fire Commissioner Paul Burke, damage caused to all three buildings is estimated at around $5 million.